right. Here goes nothing, Weebo Jones. Whew. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video from my usual content that you guys are probably used to. But it is something that I need to get off my chest. It's one of the harder videos that I'll ever have to make because it's it's so raw and it's it's real. But it's extremely personal. And I guess maybe if you think about it, not as surprising as one would initially think. Not if you really think about it. I mean, it kind of makes sense, all things considered, that I would... That this would be the case. Uh, <laughs> so I guess I should just, you know, start at the beginning so that everyone can kind of understand. Because that's, that's what I really want out of this, is just for people to understand exactly what it is that I'm getting at. You know? That's, that's all I want. Just, just to be understood. And I, 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 and, and I want to make people laugh, you know? That, that, that too. And if I can't do that and make this video, then maybe, maybe it's not worth it. But that's not even something that we're going to consider right now. Right now, I just, I want to, I want to tell my story, you know? Okay, so here it goes. It's been a long time coming, I guess, you know. I always knew that there was something really, really different about me compared to other girls my entire life. I was always bullied for being just a little bit off in some way. Um, but I could never quite put my finger on it. You know, I, I, I would, in elementary school, play football with the guys as far back as third grade instead of you know meandering around the the, the the playgrounds with the girls and talking about our current crushes and dance class or you know boyfriends all that jazz that hold none of my interest that held none of my interest there we go uh and then you know i was always more interested in things like martial arts and the Power Rangers than I ever was in ballet or Barbie, what have you, you know? It just, it piqued my interest more so. I had a thing for motorcycles, although I think that has to do with being raised by the man that I was raised by. <laughs> although, you know, maybe it's a sign. And, you know, heck, fuck it. What if maybe the fact that I prefer flannel to polka dots might also be a sign of this. <laughs> I just, I never really identified with the female experience. It was never my thing. What you would expect to get from a woman traditionally is just not the way that I tend. Does that make sense? And I know I gave a few examples from my personal life, but just... There are other little things too, you know? Like, I absolutely despised pink as a young child. Red was red was always the way to go. Now it's burgundy, but, you know, my tastes haven't shifted that far off from where they've always been. I, oh god, I detested anything with a skirt attached to it. That was dresses, that was just normal skirts by themselves. Pants were always the rage for me. You know, I just could not tolerate anything that didn't have both legs attached to it for whatever reason. And maybe it's it was a sign, or maybe it was just a personal... Who, who the, who the freaking knows, you know? <sighs> um, it, it, it took me an absolute long haul of a time to actually get into makeup, to actually start using it, and even now, when I use makeup, it's only very rarely. It's only when it is that I'm staging, I guess, for these videos. I'm not wearing makeup right now, you can probably tell. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't don a lot of makeup. And even when I do, it's not super gaudy. It's a pretty natural look, pretty neutral. Uh, I already... 
it seems it's probably very obvious, but I don't really do very much with the hair. The most I've ever paid for a haircut was like 35 bucks and that was with tip. <laughs> I just, I'm a very simple person in my stylistic choices. Nothing too extravagant. Um, not like you would get with other members of the female gender. <sighs> so, I should probably let everyone know that I've, 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 been, I've been on a form of hormones since I was in high school. Um, it took, it took an awful amount of time to actually get on the right dosage let me tell you there was oh there was like an entire week there when they had me on the nastiest stuff that you could have ever possibly interacted with it caused an immense amount of just deep depression and horribleness and i just i decided then and there despite the ramifications of what would happen if i didn't take my hormones that i just could not take them at this point, then I just, I just, I just stopped. I, I just ended it. No. And then I went in and I saw my doctor and I got prescribed a different dosage and, you know, different prescription. And so things started to relegate, relegate, regulate a little bit better after that. And it's been pretty consistent ever since, I'll say. Uh, d aside from the odd, you know, hiccup here and there with uh, the drug companies and what have you, I'm in a pretty good place with my hormones right now. Um, oh, so it, it was hard to figure the hormone situation out because, oh God, it took about five different doctors to actually take me legitimately it took about five separate doctors to actually take me seriously enough to put me on hormones that, you know, were what I needed. But eventually we got there. Thank God. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my hormones. If I didn't... Life would be a lot more different. A lot more different. A lot... Yeah, a lot more different. Maybe a little harder, a little bit nerve-wracking, you know, and for obvious reasons, of course. <sighs> anyway, what else? I never wanted to be the typical housewife type of girl, you know, the, the one that has an apron and baked goods coming out of the oven whenever it is that her husband got home. I wanted to be, you know, a working person, someone in the workforce, pulling their weight, doing their job, having something to do every single day that was a little bit different from the day before, or maybe drastically different, uh, who knows? Something divorced from the monotony of staying at home and cooking meals and cleaning the house, because I, I knew <laughs> when I was a kid, I did not like doing chores. Not at all. So, that there, on, on that hand, that was the case. However, on the other hand, I always knew that I wanted to have kids too. So there's, there's that incongruency, I guess you could say, which was very confusing for a while. But eventually, you know, I, I figured it out. I figured out who I wanted to be. And I'm, I'm pretty, I'm in a pretty good place with regards to my identity right now. Pretty good place. Which is why I'm making this video, because I feel safe coming out as trans, you know? I, I feel, I feel safe coming out as trans in the current day. And I think that's a good thing. So, I, I let the cat out of the bag been delaying it long enough, I guess. I just, I did it. I'm trans. Female to female. Um, my pronouns are she, her. I am a trans woman. Female to female. God, that... Huh. 
Whew. Ooh, that's such a relief to get out there. You know? Such a relief. So you guys are probably um, wondering how how does how does this change things? What does this do? Is this all right? Don't worry about it. Nothing is going to change from now on. Not a thing. I'm still the same Weibo that I always have been. I am just not a woman in the traditional sense because being a female to female trans means quite literally uh, that you are. A, a woman who considers herself transitioning from female to female uh, as I've always been female, you know? Just not in the way that a female is traditionally. I am an alternative female, if you will. So, yeah. I don't want you guys to freak out or anything. I don't want you to treat me any differently than you already do because at the end of the day, nothing is different. Nothing is changed. I'm still me. I'm the same Weibo that you've come to know and love. I just have a different labeled identity. That's literally it. The whole joke. <laughs> Peace, bitches. <laughs>